All right, folks, welcome back. Hey, guess what? Winter wrapped up yesterday officially, and so now we're going to be getting spring tonight. Spring officially begins 10.06 p.m., so technically we've got a full day left of winter before spring begins late this evening. But, hey, we'll just go ahead and call it the first day of spring today. Highest temperature in winter so far was 82 degrees. The lowest we had in the winter season this year was minus 5. Pretty cold there. That was back in January. Average temperature 43.5, about 5 degrees above normal. It was a warm December, a cold, cold January. Remember that Arctic blast that came through and hung around for a little bit? And then a warm February. Precipitation was nearly 6 inches, about an inch and 3 quarters below normal. Snowfall, well below normal. Only 3.4 inches of snowfall recorded at the Springfield Airport. Now, some folks saw more snow than that. But uh, here for Springfield, about 7 inches below normal on snowfall for the winter season. This morning, it still feels like winter. Again, spring doesn't begin until 10.06 p.m. this evening and overnight tonight. So still, yeah, this is still kind of in play, and it's not gone yet. Upper 20s outside for the time being. And later today, the better news is climbing up to the upper 60s. We'll do about a 66 for later this afternoon with south winds coming in a little breezy at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Good news there on the way for today, but a cold start out the door. Winds this now out of the south. 5 to 10 miles an hour, making it feel like the teens and low 20s across the area out the door. So keep that big coat you had yesterday. Keep it handy out the door for today. You'll be shedding some layers, though, later on this afternoon as the temperatures spike up to the 60s for later today. So our big uh, cool down maker right here over the Great Lakes, giving us uh, some snow up there and also that northerly wind. But now we're starting to see a south wind take over as high pressure builds down over the south and east. We're also keeping an eye on this area of low pressure here over Arizona. That was there last week, and it stayed there over the weekend. It's still there today, and it's finally going to move our way as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, bringing just a slight chance of rain for it for Wednesday into Thursday. Dry Friday and mostly Saturday. Sunday into Monday, it looks like a better chance of rain develops there with a widespread soaker coming our way possibly to kick things off next week. So looking at future cast here in the short term, a sunny day for today, nothing really happening. Okay, maybe a little windy, a little breezy. There will be some elevated fire danger today, especially in the west, thanks to the, uh, the dryness and the warm weather and the wind. We go into tomorrow, we'll see a few clouds develop. Chance of rain down to the south as that storm system from the west moves our way. That'll linger around with widely spotty showers going into Thursday, wrapping up for Thursday afternoon. Not much rainfall out of that system there. As we go into next week, it looks like Sunday into Monday, a larger storm system sets on and wet weather for a couple days, Sunday, Monday, possibly Tuesday, stormy down to the south. A lot of rain out of this looks like good moisture for us. The good bad news is though the cold air may wrap in on the back side of that, setting up a chillier pattern as we go into next week. So something to keep an eye on there. This week, though, pretty nice. Upper 60s for today, sunshine. Low 40s, upper 30s overnight tonight. Here's a cold front coming through for tomorrow. Pretty weak. Okay, you're still about 60 degrees in west central Missouri. Low 60s for Thursday. Again, slight chance of spotty showers Wednesday into Thursday late. Then nice weather Friday. Better chances of rain arrive next week. All right, thank you, Tom.